Jamal Palihapiti is next SPAC target is drum roll please healthcare startup Clover Health uh, IPOC merging with Clover for total enterprise value of what they're saying is going to be 3.7 billion dollars but I just wanted to ask you specifically why do a, a SPAC as opposed to an IPO this is the, the big question that I think CEOs across the country who are in your in your shoes are thinking about right now Really, when we, when we looked at the diligence process that we went through on the uh, underwriting perspective, we just could not tell our story in the expansive way uh, that we wanted to. And when we looked at, when we think about alignment of interests, having a technology investor who really understands Clover um, and being aligned with us is, is really, really vital. And that's the path we took. So what is this business? In the most basic form, what consumers need to know is Clover offers simple, obvious, and comprehensive health care plans for all of us. And so when you go to Clover Health and you sign up for one of their plans, what they also do is go to your doctor and give them very powerful software. That software is a combination of machine learning that takes all this heterogeneous data, clinical data, drug data, your lab results, your blood results, your genetic information, merges it together and allows them to give actionable insights and recommendations every time you see your doctor. That allows them to deliver better outcomes and lower costs. When you turn 65 in America, you have two choices. Number one is federally sponsored health care called Original Medicare, and number two is private insurance called Medicare Advantage. The reason to start in this market is that these are the folks that need the most help. They suffer the most chronic disease. Almost 7 in 10 have at least two chronic diseases. They rely on health care. They see a doctor at least five times a year. It is a daily use activity. And so by launching in a market like this, not only do you validate the technology, you get the benefit of some enormous tailwinds, which, as you know, creates for us a margin of safety. Clover is already growing two to three times faster than their next nine nearest competitors. It is a business that when in market takes 50% of every single new available member every year they compete with these legacy incumbents. What that's created is a business that last year alone did almost $460 million of revenue, and in 2023 we'll do $1.7 billion of revenue. I have about a million questions, and, and we've, we've, we've now gone through the, the, the pros. I want to go through some of the cons um, and, and some of the, the, the big issues with this company. Let's just call a spade a spade. Right now, this is a money-losing company. It does not make money today, correct? It's still losing money? On a per-unit basis, on an operating margin basis, uh, it is almost at break-even in profitability. By 2023, we will have overall profitability. Big issue in terms of being able to compete with the big guys. I'm talking about Humana, United Health. Um, the, the, the metric that investors look at in terms of success is MLR, medical loss ratio. What is the medical loss ratio for Clover versus the it's big a great, guys? Great question. Great question. Out of the box, they're already meaningfully better. And what's great is their gross margins start better because they're a technology business, and we think it's going to get better and better over time.